Now I want to introduce you the commissioning of an EC drive valve actuator. As an example, we have here a 649 valve, a diaphragm valve with a stainless steel body. For commissioning, we need the electrical connectors. Connector X1 is for power supply and includes also relays for feedback signals. Connector X2 is for network connection. Connector X3 is for the set point signal, the analog feedback signal and the digital input signals. It includes also an arrow signal. Connector X4 is for a sensor signal that is necessary for the process control operating mode. The required connectors are supplied for X1, X3 and X4. The valve has a mechanical and optical position indicator. The position is indicated by colored LEDs in the housing cover. If the valve is switched off, the position can also be seen through the transparent housing cover. Valves with GAMU EC Drive Actuator are supplied with 24 volts DC. We simply start and connect the power supply. Now we see a red flashing light. The valve is currently in arrow mode because there is no set point signal connected. The valve is configured as a positioner and expect a 4 to 20 milliamp set point signal. Like in a cooking show, I prepared a set point signal. We connect the set point signal to the X3 connector. Now the valve is closed and this is shown with the green LED light. If you want to use other input signals, a parameter change is necessary. This will be explained in the next videos. Now I will show you the manual operation and the manual override. For this I open the housing cover. With an open housing cover, please be careful because the valve actuator is no longer protected against dust, dirt and humidity. Now I set the dip switch to on and push the open button. The valve goes open. Now the valve is open. And again, I push the close button and the valve goes close. You can also use the housing cover for manu uh, manual moving. Now I set back the switch to normal operation. And close the housing cover. Don't forget the ceiling. If you receive a complete valve, the valve is initialized in the factory. If you separate the valve from the body or make a diaphragm change, you must initialize the valve again. There are three possibilities for initialization. First is via web interface or PC or PLC. Second is via digital IOs or manual with the dip buttons. For this last possibility, we open again the housing cover. We don't take the on-site switch. We only push the initialization button for at least 8 seconds. Now the valve starts the initialization process. This is shown by the red and green flashing LEDs. The valve goes open and close and learn its upper and downer limits. After that, it goes open and close again and learn its stroke and its positioning time. 
Now we can close the cover again and don't forget the ceiling. Initialization via web interface is explained in one of the following videos. In the next video, I explain how to establish a network connection and open the web interface. Thanks for watching.